Look at that. Practically silent, just a little bit of noise from the motor. I forgot to mention actually, the motor is 250 watts. At first it doesn't sound like a lot, but this is a very lightweight bike, so it has no problems. Look at him, he's already all the way over there. Imagine if I walked that. It would be, in, like the difference would just be ridiculous. Turning circle is pretty good as well. You can get a pretty tight turning circle. It's really, you know, if you, com if you consider the distance you just went, yeah. if I was walking, I would be drenched with sweat already. <laughs> So I'm now on my smaller camera. Um, I am using the bike one-handed, you can see. I just wanted to show you like a more natural ride where I just go around. I really love this thing. I wish that I had one. Oops, that's pretty fast. Sorry, my hair's all over the place. If you compare this to walking, it's just no comparison, basically. I could easily weave in and out of cars with this. In fact, I wish I could take this out on the road right now and just like whiz in and out of the traffic. And everyone would be amazed because you can't really see the motor, you can't see the battery because it's all contained inside. So it looks like a normal kind of push scooter, except that it's got a motor. Oh, a nice view over here. This is why I wanted to come over here actually. Oh, there's, look, there's the Pasig River. Wait, let me turn it around so you can see. There seems to be some kind of, is that a tugboat? I'm not sure, let me zoom in. The zoom on this camera isn't fantastic, but hopefully you can see, looks like they're tugging a bunch of boats over there. Some kind of open stadium over there. This is my first time to this mall, and yeah, it's really nice here, I have to say. Big skateboard thing over there. Got the soccer field. Anyway, I just thought we'd have like a little bit of alone time, go around here. Good thing we've got a tight turning radius there. Um, I just thought we'd take like a couple of minutes just to go around by ourselves. Um, it's really impressive. Yes, it is an investment. I know so many people are going to say, I can't afford it, it's too expensive. If you really consider how much it's going to cost you over the long run versus paying for taxis, Ubers, Grab, plus the time you're going to save by being able to cut through traffic. Um, by the way, if you use this on the road, please make sure you wear a helmet. Do not use this on the road without a helmet. You'd have to be insane. Um, I think you can really make your money back over time and the amount of time you're gonna save every day is just incredible. Um, I know people who've spent more than this on mountain bikes, let alone an uh, e-bike. Well, this isn't technically an e-bike, it's the e-scooter because it doesn't have pedals, but yeah. I mean, I love this thing. Look at how fast I can go. It's incredible. And it's so stable. I don't feel like there's any risk of coming off and I'm going pretty quick. I don't know if it will show very well on camera, but I'm really like, how fast are we going? 25 kilometers an hour. And it is stable. Yeah, I love this. This is such a quick way of getting around. Sorry, my hair is like whoosh. Yeah, this thing is fantastic. Yeah, this thing's super fun. I could totally see myself using this every day. It's so much lighter than my e-bike, which my e-bike is kind of a little bit impractical. It's good for going around, but when you get somewhere, it's so heavy, you can't take it inside, so you have to lock it up. It's kind of a nuisance. Whereas this thing, I could easily fold up and then take inside. I really like that. So I just did a full loop and it's really a joy to ride. This thing doesn't weigh basically anything. Like it's so lightweight. Um, I don't know what to say, it's, it's very convenient. It folds up. How does it fold up? Can you show me, Myrene? So pull this. Yeah, you lift that. Okay. Then have it go, slide this down. Slide that down? Yeah. Okay, like that. Until it clicks. And then this one pull back yeah. and lift. Yeah. And push this down. Mm. Ah, okay, I didn't push the lever all the way. Yeah. So that's my first time folding this. If you saw me trying to fold a buggy that you push the kids along in, that would take me maybe 20 minutes. But this one, very simple. Let's see if I can <laughs> unfold it again. So down like that, up. It did click, I think. You may, you may just kick this. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you don't have to pull this when you kick this? Yes. Okay. Until it clicks. Until it clicks, yeah, like that. Right. Excellent. So it's really easy to fold up and fold down. I'm just, I'm just imagining if I, was, if I was going to the mall and I want to take this, we pull this, ah, there we go. Yeah, that's super simple. And then you just go like this and walk away. It's almost like pulling uh, like uh, golf clubs or something. Yeah, 
I could easily walk around the mall, do what I want, then go back outside. Let's see if I can unfold this. Okay. You can also leave that in the customer service. Oh, that's right. Like if there's a baggage uh, drop-off point. So push this down. There you go. Simple. That's my second time of doing it and it's easy. So this time you can see they're folded up and you could actually fit quite a few in like this. This is really the more optimal way of moving them around. Yeah. I don't think you'd have any problems transporting this around, would you? Super convenient. The steel. You can take it inside the Starbucks, yeah. inside the restaurant, inside we, the boardroom. We had these inside Coffee Bean earlier, right? Both of them, absolutely no problems. They, they don't draw attention because they're so slim. They don't take up any space, really. We took them inside here earlier, Coffee Bean. No problems at all. This place is really nice, by the way. If you haven't tried this mall, I recommend you try it out. It's a really nice place. There's lots of greenery, there's lots of restaurants, really nice. And we're about to stop for something to eat. And again, we just bring them in, park them over there, and there's no problem at all. And that's actually quite an interesting thing, because when I took my e-bike around Eastwood, I always had a problem. If I went to a restaurant, the guards would say, you can't park that outside, we don't allow bicycles. Whereas this thing, you fold it up, nobody cares. The guards don't care, the staff don't care. So actually, that's just hit me that that's so convenient because I had so many problems with my e-bike around Eastwood. So I was asking Ed if we could go over to the Pasig River. And then he said, why should I keep carrying it when I can just ride it? And that really made sense. Like this, part, this pathway is already big enough. So it really makes more sense just to ride it there, right? Okay. See, much quicker than I could ever walk. Because I was thinking, oh, we'll just walk over there, but of course it makes more sense just to ride it. And earlier I mentioned about how it's quite low down to the ground, which is really ideal for anyone who's a little bit older, because, you know, when you get a little bit older, your knees start to go and you can't really crouch down. So having it so low makes it really usable, even for someone who's a little bit older. Look, there he goes. Sorry, the zoom on this camera isn't very good. Let me try and zoom in. Yeah, I really, I'm really starting to fall in love with this, I have to say. Oops, sorry, it's super bumpy, but look at this place. This place is really nice, by the way. My first time here at this mall. I can't remember if I already said that on camera, but this place is really nice. There you go, zooming along. My e-bike is so much heavier than this. Um, I still like my e-bike, but you can really see the big benefits of having this lighter one. And the wheels are still wide enough that you get a stable ride. Even if it's like a bit bumpy, it's still okay. Even if you're going over like rough terrain, still manages it quite well. Let's see if he goes on the grass here. No. <laughs> this is Pasig River. I thought it'd be not quite nice to come down here and just, you know, see what it's like around here. It's my first time here to this mall, so why not take a look around while we're here? Passing is full of uh, the lilies. Lily yeah. So, because of the rains, and I think uh, Ayala has already bought that 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 uh, oil depot. Okay. So it looks like they're constructing a bridge. A bridge. Wow. For the development of this there. Yeah. How do you find getting on and off the Stego? It's no it's easy, right? Because it's quite low. Because it's so low. Yeah. <laughs> and you were mentioning it earlier that you could use this to go around a golf course, for example, oh, yeah. instead of having a golf cart. Golf cart, uh, you know, area. Yeah. Leave it there, and then you know your caddy can take your 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 golf bag. Yeah. And put it out. It's and perfect. you don't have to pay a monthly dues. Mm, that's to park true. Your, your, your golf cart in, in, uh, in, in the country club or what, you know. Nice. And then besides, you can take it home. The maids can use it going to the market. That's true, your son yeah. can use it going to school, like in the Laban, right? Yeah. So, a lot of plenty of uses if you really expand your, your thoughts on this. In fact, let's take a closer look. Let me put my bag down and then we'll move in closer so I can show you the different parts of the bike.
So this is the back of the bike and you can see that it's got a light here which is a running light but if he presses the brake see how it's coming on and off so it's actually a functional brake light. That's right. At the back here we have the, the motor, motor. The motor. So you can see the motor here it's tiny no one would even notice that and then on this side you've got the disc brake Yes. Um, of course, regular tire. Although you said, what's the name of this it's tire? It's a Kendo. Uh, Kendo. It's a Kendo. Uh, so it's not going to easily. By, uh, tires. It's not easily going to get punctured. Um, inside these tubes here is where you actually find the battery, yeah. right? Inside right. here. That's the battery. Um, so on this side and then on this side. Yeah. Of course, you've got the seat here. Um, it's actually comfortable. I mean, I didn't mention that, but yeah, it's it comfortable. Um, we've got reflectors, which is always good because yeah. extra visibility. Here's the charging port. Oh yes, we didn't show this charging. yet. Yeah. Um, and like we mentioned earlier, around three and a half hours maybe to yeah. charge. The charger is like a, like a computer charger. And it just plugs straight into the wall, That's a right. normal outlet. Uh, we've got caliper brakes on the front, just like a regular bicycle. So these right. are super easy to adjust. Um, again, we've got the Kendall tire. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, it has really, the nice thing about it, it has a motor and a chassis uh, serial number. Ah, uh, yes. So you can see there. So that will be useful for when LTO finally catch up with <laughs> registration of different e-vehicles. Yes. Um, now, I didn't show you the screen earlier. It actually has yeah. a screen here. Um, I don't know if it, there you go. You can see it on camera. So that's actually showing your yeah, speed. Yeah, that's a zero, you know, kilometer. Zero and, kilometers and, an hour. And this is the battery level. Yeah. So you can easily see how much charge is remaining in your battery, which is very useful. Right. Um, you've also got the bell, although you added this as a yeah. as an add-on because the horn can be a little bit. <laughs> the horn can be a little bit intimidating. So if you do buy one of these, you might also want to consider just adding a bell so yeah. you don't startle people. Um, but it's nice to have the horn on there so that in some situations, like if you're using this on a busy road, you want to use the horn. That's right. But if you're using it on a bike lane, just the, the bell is okay already. That's right. Um, but yeah, it's really very portable. <laughs> very portable. And like I mentioned earlier, you have the front headlight, which is always on. And that's generally recommended, even for motorbikes, they recommend you keep your lights on at all times um, because you're not as visible as some other vehicles. So it is recommended to keep lights on. And yeah, it just, it just works. It's just, that's the thing. It, it's simple <laughs> and simple is good because simple works. You can carry about 220 pounds. 220 pounds. So even for the heavier people out there, you have no excuse. You can really ride this around. <laughs> and here's the, what would you call these? They're not foot pedals. Um, uh, well, it's just a foot support or, or foot know. rest maybe. Foot rest, yeah, yeah. It. And it's comfortable. Um, I've been riding, anyone who follows my channel knows I've been riding a lot of motorbikes recently. And some of them get a bit uncomfortable with the placement of the feet. This one, um, this e-scooter, I haven't found any discomfort at all. Now, to be fair, I have only ridden it for maybe five or 10 minutes total, but I didn't find any discomfort. So that is a, that's a good selling point for me. So I don't actually need any more footage because we've got a lot of footage, but I just want to take the opportunity to ride this again. So I asked if it's okay if we ride. I mean, it might seem a little bit short, but when you're riding it, it doesn't, it feels perfectly fine. I mean, this is a comfortable height for me. There we go. Yeah, I could see myself riding around in this, no problems. You can see that it really turns easy. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall off. Go there, okay. Let's see how we go. So you see we went over a bump there, no problems. I'm now on like a hobbly cobbly I don't even know how you describe this. Oh, there's a bike park over there or a, oh, you won't be able to see it on camera. Sorry, but yeah, I'm having no problems. Like this is quite a bumpy road, but I still feel like it's pretty smooth. No problems. Let's see if we can ride over this. This would be a little bit more bumpy. Oh, 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 oh. it is a little bit bumpy, but it works and I was able to get along it. Let's see how the turning radius is. If I can turn on this tiny little path. Okay, no, I need to do a little bit of reverse action. Hopefully you can still see this on the camera, but it's comfortable, it really is. Yeah, this is a great little e-scooter, see? Thumbs up.
Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Like I said, anyone who's interested in buying one of these or even test riding, right? Yes. You can find uh, the Facebook page in the video description down below because you do allow them to come and test it out before they of buy course. it, right? Yes. Um, so for anyone who's interested, just see the video description down below. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much too. Yes, thank uh, you. Hope okay. to see you more again. I hope and so. to see more people riding a Stigo. Yes. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So let's see how difficult it is to put away. So it folds up in a few seconds, which is pretty good. Lift up the trunk. Yeah, you can fit in any car. Yeah, you still have more <laughs> space for extra stuff. Simple. And then you can continue on your journey and then take it out on the other end. <laughs>